Okay, you guys, I don't know if you can hear me. I'm going to speak pretty loud. Uh, I'm here behind the camera. I'll wave my arms around. I'm probably just a silhouette to you now. But we're about 10 minutes past sunset, and this is what we get from In N Out Burger. So we're facing towards the. I'm going to come next to you since there's a lot of cars driving by. Uh, we're facing into the sunset, so I put the sunset directly behind the In N Out. Unfortunately, they didn't turn the neon. There's red neon lights that are should be on the side that are on the one in Santa Rosa. But this is a much prettier view of the in and out I think, than the one in Santa Rosa. Santa Rosa has a big tree block. So I'm about 10 minutes past sunset, and let's have a look uh, at what this is going to look like uh, right now. So first I set my camera to f16. It's on a tripod and I wanted as sharp as it can be, nice depth of field there, and so why not? So the camera set it f16 at, uh, I, I'm doing ISO 200. You can go to 100, it's fine since you're on a tripod. And then I uh, expose for the lights that are in the building and on the in and out signs. And so here's how the camera sees that now. This video is showing it a little bit differently than what it actually looks. So here's the image. So the sky is still, uh, the, the, the exposure for the sign is not going to change over the course of this. So I can leave it on F16, I'm just going to wait for that sky to darken. Because the camera's on a tripod, I'm a, and it's not a great tripod, I'm a little worried about camera shake when I press the shutter button if I have an exposure, say, I'm gonna wait for the car, half an inch or half a second or something like that. You may get some camera shake. So I put it on my drive on a, a timer. So I can either do two seconds or 10 seconds. And for my final shots, I always do 10 seconds when I know it's a perfect shot, just to make sure. Oh, we have a helicopter flying over now. So as I reach the perfect time, the golden moment, I'm nearly at 20 minutes now or so, let's double check. Um, I'm gonna continue to shoot probably once a minute, a frame once a minute. Um, it's gonna get darker and darker. I'm gonna go till probably 25 minutes past, but right now I'm just gonna keep shooting So in between each frame, I'm checking the back and checking my exposure. It turns out that I only have one wide angle lens with me. So my 50s on this one now, I have to keep grabbing it from my video frame. But I can see the basic exposure here. I keep checking after each shot to make sure that I'm still in, in good shape and that I'm not going too dark. Because once I go too dark, then I'm gonna quit, okay? All right, so uh, I drove back to my house, and this is the In-N-Out Burger, and I realized, well, you don't get the sign right, but the cars would make a cool pattern uh, as they move, but they're sitting around a lot. But you see it's a lot more neon than the other one, but the angle of the sign is wrong and everything. And if I look over here, these are what gas stations look like, right? So they're completely lit, um, so you could have used one of these is it would have been fine or actually as I drove back I passed Otto Row in Santa Rosa and boy that place is really lit up so it's so bright your time would probably be maybe 15 minutes past sunset would be the equal because it's so bright out there so you'd have to get there a little bit earlier if you did an Otto Row shoot <laughs> 